um, uh, we, and we learned this before about having to commit to you for three years, mm -hmm. is there any kind of um, um, protection in terms of how much rates might might move up, I know, from year to year? And you've talked about, mm -hmm. about rates going down, but, sure. but yeah. And, and unfortunately, I can't guarantee that because what, what we've seen, for example, in this past year are catastrophic losses throughout the, throughout the world um, that we can't control. We haven't had a hurricane hit make landfall in almost 10 years, and this year we had two and almost three. They've got a tropical storm currently hitting London, and they've got wildfires taking out all of wine country, which is unfortunate for all of us, um, as we speak. So I can't say whether or not rates are going to increase or not. What we can confidently say based on our experience is if the marketplace does see rate increases, it will be less in a program where you purchase it with your peers than it would be as a standalone. Okay. And that's it. And then, but, no, oh, go ahead. Oh, I would just say as a program as a whole, we typically try to not move your premiums 5% higher or 5% lower than what you have so you can maintain a stable budget from year to year, too. Mm -hmm. Even if you see a 10% decrease, that's great, but it's still tough on your budget to... Gotcha. No. On 9-11, insurance rates nearly doubled. Um, you know, somebody like the city of Chicago couldn't find insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, it just it just depends on what happens in the world. Sure. So. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. barring Right. Uh, and, right. and then um, uh, there's one other question. Uh, sorry. Uh, it, it lost, lost That's all right. Yeah. Come back. Just a brief one. Does Lira pay ILA anything? Yes, so there is a sponsorship fee um, that comes from Lira to the ILA, and we do break out. So on your on your pricing sheet, you'll see everything broken out. So there is a, a line item there for the ILA fee as well as an operations yeah. fee. It's $250 a year per member that goes to ILA. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that that actually does is that provides us the opportunity to then go and have a booth at the ILA events, to present, to sponsor luncheons. And it gives us a lot of great uh, recognition out to libraries. There's 800 libraries in Illinois. I don't care how hard we market the program. Today, there are still libraries that have never heard of Lyra. Um, and so what we've used is we've used that as almost a marketing arm to get our name out there through their newsletters, through their website, et cetera. I remember my question too. So you talked about having John come in as a consultant. Mm -hmm. So how do we? What kind of cost would that be to us if we were to have? It's up that? to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that one of the things about Lira that we try to and really pride ourselves on is full transparency. You see the exact down to the dollar what Tia and I make uh, by placing this insurance. I'm not sure what John made um, on the account when placing it. I know that he does provide value, and I know that he's very highly thought of by all of his clients that he works with. Mm -hmm. I've got no problem continuing to work with John and having an open society and inviting John to the renewal meetings and having him be a representative. Um, unfortunately, the board had recommended that in order to get the best message across, I know last year you guys had looked into Lyra as well, and we actually weren't uh, out at the board meeting, and some, something happened with some fiduciary coverage, and we felt like there were some mixed messages that were delivered to the board, and so our board just simply said if a Lyra quote goes out, you must attend the board meetings, mm -hmm. and so that's what we've done. And so. It's nothing against John and his team, and if you guys want to create a consulting fee and continue to pay John $2,500 a year to be your agent, that's, that's just a, absolutely that's just a that's side up, to the, up to the board. Yes. That's additional. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Um, okay. And then also just a note, our program, Lyra, is with the Hartford on Workers' Comp. All of our libraries are with the Workers' with workers Comp for um, their work. Uh, Lear, they're all with the Hartford for Workers' Comp. And currently you're with the Hartford, so we could not get you a quote on that. Um, so what we would do and what we've done with many members that have joined that have been with the Hartford is we just take over that policy. So whatever your policy is this year, we would take it over. Uh, one of the things about... Our insurance about only continues, though, until... December 1st. December 1st. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then what we'll do is on December 1st, we will then take over that renewal with the Hartford for 31 days till 1231 and then they will rewrite you one of the things about being with hartford and doing it through lira is if you do have a bad claim and unfortunately for libraries um, if a school pays five hundred thousand dollars of insurance and somebody slips and falls and hurts their shoulder and has to get surgery that 80 grand is only 18 percent loss ratio compared to the total spend but if you're paying five thousand dollars in comp insurance and you still have the same slip and fall injury with the shoulder that's 80 grand now it's you know three thousand percent loss ratio and so one of the things that you do by buying insurance with your peers through the hartford and being a part of the lear program is you insulate yourselves that if you do have that bad loss they won't just be able to come out and cancel you 
unless you have a frequency issue. Again, it's not that one bad loss where they're going to come in and say, we'll write all the libraries, but we'll met. It is, we'll provide a quote to everybody in the program uh, three years down the road if we'll met as 15 slip and falls because you guys aren't sweeping the sidewalks, we're going to have issues. Um, so, it's 9 o'clock. We have all still the rest of the many more things to do. Yes. <laughs> so, unless anyone has any no. any question, we anticipate uh, taking a vote on this shortly. Um, but you don't need to stick around. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we Heather certainly will, appreciate you. I will. Yeah, thanks for coming. Heather will uh, yeah, thank you for your time. contact yeah. with you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So thank, thank you so much, and yeah. thank you for coming. Yeah. And thank you for coming <laughs> the second well, what's time. What's the score now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, what's the score now? Two to one, Dodgers. <laughs> I found it happen. Yeah. You know what? We got 108 years, you know. <laughs> hey, we got seven more years. Okay. All right, let's see if we can um, move through this a little bit more quickly. Um, Treasurer's report. Thank you, Ron. Minutes. Yeah. You minutes. Oh, of course we have to approve the minutes of the last meeting, which are located. I will located motion behind. that we approve the minutes from the last meeting. Second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, minutes have been approved. Thank you. Keep me on track in case I go off track. <laughs> um, Treasurer's report. Ron. Uh, we have money. <laughs> and as you heard in the audit, we have more money than we did last year, uh, but this past month is not one that we receive a lot of revenue. Our largest revenue source was from gifts and donations of just under $11,000. So basically, this is not a month that had a very big impact on our total financial picture. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that's about as much time as we need to spend on <laughs> the financial report, but we do need to approve bills and salaries. I so move. I so second. It's been moved and seconded. Um, Jan, can you call the roll on sure. this one? Mm -hmm. um, Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee Barshus. Aye. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Action items. Ah, holiday closings for the calendar year 2018 are located uh, behind uh, attachment seven. I move on approval of the holiday, the holiday closings schedule. Second. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Okay. For the note taker, Lisa McDonald second. Yeah. Okay. Now we get to um, vote. On the insurance, um, we uh, have before us two proposals. One, do we, can, do we need to vote tonight on this? When does it expire? December first. December first. Yeah. And what lead time is required to enact the get approved agreement and to carry out the procedures that Lyra would require if we chose them? I. Good question, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, but I don't have an answer for that. I would assume at least 30 days. Um, That's the one question we should have asked them. You know, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think you have all the information you need. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, anything? Yeah. It, it, I guess my question would be, can I answer questions or, you know, because I, I don't know if waiting will give you more information. Mm -hmm. it, it just mm -hmm. is more, mm -hmm. I mean, more really, time. To tell you the truth, though, we really have, this is the first time we've gotten this much information. Like, I had a, a sense of what Lyra was before, mm -hmm. but because they didn't present to us, um, I still don't feel like I, I mean, I, I grasp what it is, of course, and it, but I just think it's more of, it's like, it's definitely a decision that we shouldn't take lightly since a three-year commitment. Um, it's, it's more proven than it was when it was started four years ago, and that's one of the reasons we waited, is we waited for them to prove themselves. Um, I'm just not, uh, there, I do have some, some issues and questions with the setup. Um, so, but I mean, we can go ahead if everybody else is comfortable, then I'll just have to vote against I, I sort of am, and part of it is I remember what John sort of said last year. He said, you're going to want to do this. I mean, he was the one who recommended um, last year. Um, well, the question is, is it worth the extra cost of sticking for another year with our present arrangements? 
Well, I'll also say, I mean, it's not our present arrangement any longer. It is True North, yeah. which is, as a new director, this, you know, coming in, um, I, you know, I appreciate you giving me time to orient and everything. I know this decision came before the board a year ago. And uh, you're right, at that time, even John suggested that Lyra would be a good option at that time. Um, but I know that, you know, with hiring a new director, you wanted to wait and kind of mm -hmm. contemplate that. And at this point, I was surprised by the True North merger as well. Um, and it kind of puts it all into question because it's it's not the same at all from what we've had in the past. Mm -hmm. um, it's a whole new proposal. It's a whole new company. Uh, they're based out of Cedar Rapids. They don't have any other libraries. Mm -hmm. um, it's we would not we would be dealing with John for a short period of time, mm -hmm. but I don't know if that would continue uh, for. A while. Right. I mean, so I'm not I guess writing it to him. It's more the yeah. more conventional insurance arrangement versus the the pool arrangement. Right. That's that's right. what are, what gives me pause. Right. Just uh, the whole thing of the um, the management structure mm -hmm. worries me slightly because I feel like okay, people these people are professional librarians. They know how to run libraries. Do they know how to run an insurance organization, which is kind of what I'm hearing they do. You know, you have a treasurer who's uh, a librarian. It, it just, it makes me a little nervous, frankly. You know, and I had the same concerns when we did the health thing, and we quizzed them pretty closely. You know, who writes the check? Who comes in? Who does this? Um, and there's still experienced people on the insurance side I of with Marcus and Tia. But these are, these are the salespeople. The right. people that yeah. were with right. us tonight are the salespeople. Of course. Right. right. No, I, I, I'm, That's their job I understand your concern. Is to sell the program. Of, right. right. But the, and I think their, their thing is not to be here with me next week when we have somebody. To hold your hand. Side. Exactly. I, or hold our hand. I, yeah. No, I understand that. But I think, but, but, the, but there is a certain, a, a real And I don't even know where these agents, the people we call in the middle of the night, where are they? You know? Right well, you receive looking. a list of Who the are they information and where are to they contact them based on what type of claim for? it is. Right. But the, the, the people who are actually managing the delivery of service, if you have a claim situation, are professionals at doing that. Librarians are not directly, from what I'm hearing anyway, not directly involved in any of those decisions. Right, but they're managing they're this pool of money. They're making board-level decisions. This, they're managing this pool of money. As policymakers. But and, who's... And, and, they're, 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 and they're, they're going to determine if there's a library that's being more, putting, putting the whole pool at risk by, again, like they cited, if someone's not shoveling their, their front, you know, their front right. sidewalk. So, so it's more about the idea of the libraries, the group being responsible to keep out or to kick out somebody who's not who's who's creating more of a risk mm -hmm. that, that's a controlled risk it's not like again if, if there's a random fire or a random uh act of nature um it's more about the a library not being responsible to itself right. I, and to the group I, yeah I, I if we changed that. our hardscape yeah. to solid glass surfaces yeah 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 <laughs> we'd be want? a risk yeah i mean these <laughs> are established companies. companies have you talked to any directors that have participated for at least two years with yeah. them and what's been their experience excellent schomburg um she's on the board talked i've talked to many different library directors everyone uh, at oak park where i worked for years we were part of lira for years but lira's uh, been around how many years since 2013 i believe so it's yeah. been around four it's years 20 so years is maximum four years it's not decades. Um, yeah, and I mean, I think... But it's the insurance companies that are backing it. It's the, yeah, the, right. That's who, and they're the same, some of the same companies that we were going to right. pay them for. Like I said, if everybody else is comfortable, then it, you it, vote for it. Well, it's... Uh, well, I make a... It's a really up to you if you want if you want to put on the October. No, oh, where are we? We're October. October. November. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could, yeah. November. No, I don't want to you guys. You know, if you want to if wait, if everybody else is comfortable, then go ahead. Could I get a motion on the table to? I so, move that we. So we have something that we enter into the agreements required to engage Lyra as our insurance provider. I second the okay, motion. Okay, there's a motion on the floor. Okay, uh, we can vote this up or down. Um, I'm inclined to go with them. Um, 
I understand this is a new program. Um, if, and we're sort of stuck for three years, except if it really is awful and crashes, we have the wherewithal to go out and buy our own insurance anyway, if there's, if there's some kind of failure. Um, not something that we would like to do, but mm -hmm. we're not totally unprotected. It's not as though we are in the position of some libraries who might not have that option. So I do feel as though we have the option to protect ourselves in case this proposal does not work, although it would be an expensive option. Right, right. I mean, we wouldn't want to do that. So No, we wouldn't want to, but it's it, it, it helps. It's something you think about in terms of when you're doing something new, that, well, what's the worst case scenario? Right. Um, mm -hmm. That's a good point. So I am in favor of entering into this. There's a lot of libraries. Um, we had very similar concerns and a very long and contentious 